Hello, YouTube, and welcome to my last Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass prediction video. Unlike other ones, I'm actually going to be going over all my old predictions and seeing how I did. Anyways, you got a bunch of stuff ready to show. And anyways, let's get right in. Anyways, the first set of predictions was never publicly posted on YouTube. I was done privately right after Direct. It was on February 13th, 2022. And oh my goodness, it is literally atrocious. Um, I saw the three, when I, I, I know the thought process that went into this, it was not good, but I, I know it. Um, essentially I went in and was like, oh, three tour tracks? I wonder if every wave is going to focus on one game and give three tracks from that one game. So as you can see with this wave two prediction, that one game is 3DS here. Um, you know, the track selection this track selection actually isn't the worst. It almost makes sense. Almost. Besides, you know, the three of one track. I mean, one game. Why are your shipyard, though, in Wave 2? I don't know. It seems too... I don't know. It feels like it could, should be in a later cup. And same with Bowser's Castle and Mushroom City. Those are all tracks that, like, in the second wave, I mean, I guess... When you have six cups in a row, difficulty balancing is much harder, but still, it feels off. Anyways, my score is really low. So how scoring works is if a track is in a wave, I get a point. It doesn't matter if I put it in the correct slot, it just has to be in the wave. If a track is in the booster course pass, but in a different wave, it'll be yellow, and I get 0.5 points. Um, there are definitely some waves in some predictions that if I gave full points for a track being the booster course pass at all, even if the wave is wrong, that the points would skyrocket. Um, so some some of my point values definitely look worse than they are just because I only do half points if it's a different wave. That being said, there's actually none this wave. Core, Warrior Shipyard. Uh, wave 3, I, I actually do think this prediction's a little bit better, uh, but still. Uh, as you can see, Sydney Sprint doesn't even start the cup, and Technic, to be fair, none of my original predictions were ordered. I, this is an order that I did probably about six months ago, and I didn't know what the flip and do with Sydney Sprint. I guess I probably should have just actually had it open the first cup, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Hey. As you can see, I got more points here. You got full point for Rainbow Road, half point for those three yellow tracks. Uh, wave 4, oh my, you'll see a trend that Wave 4 tends to be my worst ones. I mean, look at this. Oddly enough, <laughs> Tasty Circuit. This is the only time before it was revealed that I predicted Daisy Circuit. <laughs> uh, yeah, one point. <laughs> that is the worst score, though, I get ever. Um, wave 5, again, this one... <laughs> actually has a decent amount of tracks that did end up here. And look at that. Mario Circuit in Wave 5. Another Mario Circuit. Oh no. Uh, the actual difficult... The track selection here is actually not that bad. Uh, this one I didn't do three of one game. I did two of two games. So, I don't know. And yeah, I actually got points. Crazy. And Wave 6. Obviously, this is the Wii, the Wii Wave, <laughs> and you know, I'm looking at it right now, I just realized I just put three Special Cup tracks from Mario Kart Wii here. <laughs> uh, this is also the only time I predicted Moonview Highway, ever, actually. Um, but oddly enough, a good lot of those tracks did make it into BCP, just not in Wave 6. Yeah, and, 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 and not every wave, I, I'll do this screen, the best wave score-wise, the worst wave score-wise, uh, the best score was below a 50%, so that's a, that's a yikes. 31.5%. Um, I will say this, with one exception, the percentage score goes up every single time, which surprised me, because later on you'll see that I stopped leaning as much into data mines because I realized pretty early on that Nintendo always had a big surprise, so I always tried to predict something really outrate, outlandish. And I had the right idea multiple times, as you will see, but I was never, almost never fully correct. Um, but despite all that, my percentages almost always kept going up. Anyways, my first video. 
Uh, this is still before first data mine. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm stupid. This is after the first data mine. This is after the prefix data mine. Uh, so, uh, I use that obviously to guide my thinking. I mean, look at this. I I still think that this would have been a pretty good wave. Uh, obviously, back then, blanks, we didn't know that they were almost all tour tracks, obviously. They didn't end up all being tour tracks, so I had the right idea there, but... Not fully correct, but yeah. Look at that. Wrong Mario Circuit. You'll see I also later on used the wrong Bowser's Castle, so... SNES Bowser's Castle, so... I know on my own spreadsheet, I gave me a little bit of credit for that, but here I did not. Uh, wave 3. Uh, again, uh, we didn't have all this... We didn't know all the cities yet, so I I put all the pre I put all the non prefects I put those in tour slots. Um, I I think this wave, this this prediction obviously wasn't terrible. I still think Vancouver Velocity should have been the wave three, but that is just me. Actually, that's not just me. But Nintendo disagrees. That's what, that's what I should say. Hey, look at that, wait for it, and it's awful again, it's awful again. There's only three correct tracks, and they're all in different ways. This is a better Wave 2 prediction than it was a Wave 4 prediction. <laughs> wave 5, you're gonna, you're gonna notice is, the way, the oddball wave that I tend to get surprisingly decent scores on, despite how far in the BCP it is. But theoretically, especially at this point in time, waves 5 and 6 should be the worst scores just because they are the furthest out. They have the least amount of leaks to them. I mean, I guess now it doesn't really matter, leak-wise. Since all we have is prefix. But you'll, you'll see that I tend to score relatively well on wave 5. Uh, oddly enough, this, this would have been... This actually was a pretty good wave 5 prediction, I think, still. Because Pro and Plank should have been wave 5. Uh, anyways, wave 6... Uh, you'll notice, even though that they weren't announced yet, I did fill in the gaps. You'll actually notice it with Pro Black Cup. Uh, when I, when I, in videos, old videos, I used to say, like, unannounced tour track, I filled those in. I did fill those in. Um, so, like, these two were both unknown tour cities. I filled them in once they released. I don't know why I did Madrid and not Rome. I, I don't know why it, it's Athens and Madrid and not Athens and Rome, but oh well. <laughs> um, and when I, if I actually set a specific data mine track, like Moab DK, for instance, and I put in Pro Plant Pipeline instead of just the next tour track or whatever tour track I would have predicted at the time. Um, again, Wave 6, surprisingly correct. And notice, Athens Dash and Maple Tree Way were both, are both data mined with files that hint to them being Wave 6 tracks. So, I was onto something. Overall, much better. Um, I almost got 50%. Best wave, of course, is wave 2. The best wave should always be the next one, and all that. Anyways, now we're getting into the July predictions. This is after wave 2 gets announced, so we're done seeing wave 2. This is before the sound data mine, however. Sound data mine was... It came out when wave 2 did. Uh, this is when it was announced, not when it released. So again, doubling down on Vancouver Velocity... But if you notice, I kind of figured out the ending part already with Rock Rock Mountain, Mary Mountain, and Rainbow Road. I figured that out uh, on my own. It makes me really happy. Uh, Mary Mountain put into the blank spot once I realized that. Um, in the London loop, I got lucky on. Uh, I'll admit that was luck. Uh, way four. Surprisingly not terrible, considering Lost Edge just left. is actually going to be data mined for this. Yoshi's Island is here. And then I got two actual Wave 4 tracks. This is the surprisingly good Wave 4 prediction. <laughs> Considering how early in advance this was. Uh, Airship Fortress and N64 Warrior Stadium are tracks that you'll see for Wave 4 in particular that I'm pretty big hammer on. It doesn't make sense though because Wave 4 is the start of a new row. Airship Fortress should not be in the first cup of a row. It is a difficult track. And now, looking back, it makes sense why we didn't get it in Wave 4. Now, I don't know why we didn't get it in Wave 5 or 6, but that's that's the future video. Um, wave 5? I mean, it's it's not bad. I get a bunch of Wave 4 tracks, I got a bunch of Wave 5 tracks. I just didn't know what to do for GBA. This is before I went through my uh, 
wow, I love Super Circuit character arc. So I didn't really know the Super Circuit tracks all that well. Like, I knew them. This is after I recorded all the tracks. I, I had all the track footage at the time. And plus a little bit of bias because GBA Rainbow Road is my favorite track in the franchise. Um, and of course, Bouncy Castle 2. Um, overall, actually, like, not a terrible prediction. I think this is one of my weakest Wave 5 predictions. And then Wave 6. Bangkok. Why didn't I have Bangkok in the first one as well? I should have filled in the gaps with Bangkok. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, <laughs> Prom Plank Cove I got lucky with because I just filled in the gaps. Um, but Rainbow, Rainbow Road, I've been since the beginning, man. Wave 6. <laughs> uh, like another 4 out of 8. You'll notice, I mean, look at that. Every single wave besides Wave 3, I got a 4 on. This is overall actually pretty solid prediction. Um, to me, I consider anything over 50% good because it means I was half right. And when there's so many tracks to consider, I consider that pretty good. Anyways, now we got the music data mine. Um, GBA track, you had 50% chance. This is before Blue Lake was announced for tour. So I was like, okay, it's gonna be one of them. Uh, and there was some, I know there was some data mine in tour for the ghost tracks of uh, Super Circuit. I don't know if they actually specified that it was Blue Lake. Um, I took a 50, 50 chance, wave three, end of a row. I went Broken Pier, plus I like Broken Pier more. Unfortunately, we didn't get it. Waluigi Stadium, of course, was originally data mine for wave three as well. Um, I could have gotten a 7.5 out of 8, which would have been the highest score of anything possible if I did Boo Lake, but I love Boo Lake and Mario Kart 8, but we still should have gotten Broken Pier. I, I will double down on that. Play 4? Uh, surprisingly decent, but that's also because of the <laughs> the music leak. That's why it's decent. Um, obviously, this is before we got DK Mountain and Tour, so I always use Dino Dino. Um, again, Airship Warrior Stadium. I was like, oh, we're not going to get four tour tracks in one wave. We got four tour tracks in one wave. Wave four was pretty good, though. Obviously, much lower score. Lower score than last time, oddly enough, despite the fact that I had three correct tracks. Um, wave five. Again, Bowser Castle 2. I don't know why I was doing Bowser Castle 2 instead of 3. Considering Donut Plays 3. Mario Circuit 3. I don't know. I don't know. But look at that. I got an entire cup's worth of tracks correct. <laughs> Plus two in the wrong wave. We got five. We're pretty solid. And just imagine if I did Bowser Castle 3. I would have gone higher. Mario Shipyard is the only one that wasn't right. And, and wave 6. Um, yeah, actually, surprisingly good. I do not know why Luigi's Mansion is here. Uh, considering that later, more recently, it's like, yeah, we're not getting Mushroom Bridge. It's way too easy for the end of a row you'll see i even put mushroom bridge in here mostly because at the time it was just figured that it got delayed um i do not know i do not know why this isn't the only time i believe i do it again I, and i just don't know and vancouver velocity maple treeway they have music which is why they're both a wave six uh here even though neither of them actually released a wave six yeah overall almost 60 percent again i feel like this was uh, not a terrible prediction. Um, that being said, most of the points I got correct were due to leaks. D -d 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 the music leak. So I feel like it's overall actually a worse prediction just because I had to rely on leaks to do better. And consider how well I did without the leaks before. I don't know. Uh, now we finally got starting Wave 4. This Wave 3 was released. I did an interim video. Uh, that's not listed here because I only did Wave 4. I even on my own, I didn't do Wave 5 and 6, so it's not here. I put Waluigi Stadium there, and people gave me flack in the comics of, Oh, it's it got switched with Maple Treeway. It has to be Wave 6. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Obviously, that isn't true. I did have the right idea, however, that track to the music could release early. But I did the wrong track. I did Sunset Wilds instead of uh, Bangkok, which meant that I lost points of wave 4 and 5 uh, 
that, that, that I could have gotten, but overall, still not a terrible prediction. Uh, Dry Dry Ruins actually really could have happened as well. And Aerosmith Fortress could have too. I think all eight of these tracks are very possible. Um, obviously, we got Rosalie's Ice World and Daisy Circuit over the two tracks that didn't appear here, but they were both very possible. And Moon Behind, technically, too. Uh, Wave 5. Look at that. Hey, Vancouver Velocity, as early as last December, I was a firm believer that Vancouver Velocity was going to get moved up to Wave 5. There's only one time from now on that I do not predict Vancouver Velocity Wave 5, and that is after the internet was like so like determined that it was going to be in Wave 6 and not get moved up because it's a winter track, which means it has to be in Wave 6, even though we got Snowland in Wave 2. Um... Yeah, I definitely tried to fight a lot of the internet rules, and a lot of the internet rules did turn out to be wrong. Just my predictions weren't right, either. <laughs> uh, but in this case, uh, yeah. Because another thing I thought was like, every blank had to be a tour track. Obviously, in the end, that was not true. Moonview Highway, Rosalind's Ice World. Um, and technically, Daisy Circuit. We don't know which one replaced the GameCube track. But the... Those tracks proved that that was correct. Again, I just was promoting the wrong tracks into those slots. Uh, this is where we finally had Riverside Park and Tour, so I obviously predicted it as well. Um, yeah, Mushroom Bridge is the only one in here that did not make it. And I do think Mushroom Bridge got scrapped. I do think it was at one point planned, so. Way 6. Uh, the Prom Plan Pipeline. Uh... It wasn't announced yet. I plugged it in. Why did I plug it in? Did I did I prom play Cove? I I don't think I did. I don't know why. I, I must have. Pu I probably put in Mob DK, which is why it got used up. I didn't know it was non nitro. Obviously, I got bullied. So Waluigi Stadium's here instead of Wave Four. Thank you, Internet. Uh, yeah, no DK Mountain though. Unless I'm blind, it was probably, it was way four. It's literally way four, so. Overall, it was fine. And, yeah, wave five, taking the crown again. Wave six, theoretically, should be the worst wave because it's the furthest away. Uh, this is the one time where my predi I get a worse percentage. I did get a worse percentage. Anyways, uh, wave four has been revealed. Here's, here's, here's my wave five prediction. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> it's the wave 5 that we should have gotten minus airship fortress um <laughs> I, but i did in, in the video i expressly said or next city everyone ignored that gave me a ton of flack anyways um that being said uh, i did count it wrong because i did use the image of airship fortress i should have said next city or airship fortress because then i would have gotten a seven out of eight because i would have plugged in athens dash because it was the next city at the time of this video Wow. Anyways, really, overall, good prediction. Um, Vancouver Velocity is the big one. And Wave 6, uh, obviously, pretty solid as well. I even have the 3DS track. Uh, it's just I have N64 instead of a second B track. Uh, but I got pretty close. I, I was on the right track, but you got two cities and the night trail. Uh, I, th I, I guess... Athens here. I don't know. I I, I didn't rewatch my old videos. I used my spreadsheet. I guess technically it would have been Rome, actually. So I would have gotten 0. 0.5 points on wave five. Uh, either way, 62%. Easily my best one yet. Best wave was the next wave. Worst wave was the other one. Makes sense. Uh, this is my first. Sorry, this is my second wave five prediction. I actually did three. Um, yeah, I did a lot. This was after our ton of tour data mines came out. As you can see, Mushroom Bridge is here in Wave 5. This is when Mushroom Bridge got data mined for tour. Because it wasn't before. I don't know why it was in Wave 6 before. I really don't. Again, uh, they, uh, the city tracks were spot on. Wrong Nitro, Tour Nitro. No Daisy Circuit. Cruiser. Overall, a really good prediction though. And Wave 6 was also solid. Uh, got Rome in Madrid, finally. This is the first time Rome's appeared in this video. And oh, this Wave 6 would have been so good. This Wave 6 would have been so good, guys. I, oh, man. Oh, just looking at it, I love this Wave 6. Bowser's Castle 4. Oh, yeah. Baby. Daisy Cruiser. 
The city tracks part of the pipeline. Oh, it would have been so good. Five out of eight. Almost, almost to 70. I'm almost to 70%. We're so close. We are so close. And with... Uh, Originally, I wasn't planning on actually putting this one in the video because I didn't make a video on it. I never actually revealed my Wave 6 on June 23rd, but I did. Mostly because I scored higher. That's the only reason I included it, um, to be completely honest. Um, as you can see, 6.5. It's funny, uh, I had this prediction on my spreadsheet, but I made my community post at like 3 a.m. I put the wrong tracks. In the wrong order. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. But, yeah, overall, really good prediction. Look at wave six. Yeah. It's actually really, really close. Just replace Ancient Fortress with Daisy Circuit and Palm Pot Pipeline with Rosalie to Ice World, and you actually have it. And uh, I'll stand by that I think this should. Oh, uh, and Vancouver Velocity got moved here. Um, got right that was the end of the cup but that's about it um, because I believe because I put two nitros away five so I didn't have three studies um, I think this I still think this should have been a wave six so I, I this would have probably been my favorite wave of them all actually it looks so good uh, yeah 5.5 overall I, I did pretty good here uh, you'll, 75 percent as well so that that's a pretty good score uh and then my first wave six only prediction wow uh this is after right after wave five got revealed and well probably that pipeline wasn't out yet because it's in the first cup because the second i played it i always put it in the spiny shell uh madrid wasn't out yet I put it in the second spiny shell cup on the premises of it's not out yet. Um, I actually personally think it should be an acorn cup because uh, Rome has a very confusing layout, but that's okay. And another 75%. <laughs> uh, I'll take it now. Uh, and th this is it. This is the final one. <laughs> this is the final one. And look at that. It's almost spot on. Just in every way. Every track is in the right place except for the tour city tracks. Like, even placement wise, they're nearly correct. But we're on plant pipeline. And 7 out of 8. That, I believe, is my highest. This is actually, I think, my highest score ever. Makes sense. There's not a lot of options left at this point. But hey, it is a high score, and I take those. I take W's. But yeah. 87.5%. I'll, I'll accept that. I, I, I'll take that grade. Yeah, that's that's all my predictions. Overall, I, I, I think I did a good job. Was I perfect? No. But I, I think what I, what I really like about my predictions is... I knew Nintendo was going to do some wacky-ass stuff. And I always tried to account for it. Even if I was wrong... I try to account for it. There's a lot of times, like, with Airship Fortress, we very possibly could have gotten it. We ended up getting Moonview Highway, Daisy Circuit, and Rosalina Ice World instead. But from the very beginning, I was like, We're ev not every blank is going to be a tour track. I was an adamant believer of Vancouver, of all the music tracks getting moved ahead. Um, and I was also a little bit of a believer of the prefix could be changed a bit. Uh, I, I didn't really lean into prefix changes besides blanks, but I was a believer that could happen. I just didn't pick the right tracks. Um, I didn't account for Nintendo picking eight <laughs> Wii tracks. <laughs> if I did, I probably still would have put Dry Giant Ruins on there. <laughs> it's over Moonview Highway. <laughs> Um, guess wise, uh, I love Moonview Highway. I'm so glad we got it. Um, overall, this has been a delightful experience. Um, and, you know, I'm going to wait a little bit. Uh, but I do have Mario Kart the ne predictions for the next Mario Kart Retro Tracks. I do have it drafted up. I might need to make a little bit of a change because of Piranha Plant Pipeline. But that, that's besides the point. 
I have it drafted and I will be making a prediction there and I'll probably predict DLC for that game too. Well, actually I know for a fact I predicted DLC. Right off the bat, but I'll like predict DLC once the game gets announced as well. Um, this has been a wild ride. Thank you everyone for being here. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. We still got a rank wave six. And uh, how would I make the booster course pass? Well, you'll have to find out when I make that video. Goodbye.